Okay then, so carrying on. I'm gonna come out of here. We should be able to drop to the right. And uh, I do be careful because there is a guy patrolling along here. Where is he? With an axe. So if you wanna if you've got the arrows or the ammunition and you wanna cheese him, feel free. Uh, I'm gonna go down and reserve it though. Uh, a down mark where I'm standing is gonna be a Kadama. And now once you've got it, there's no reason for you to carry on fighting if you don't want to. You can just kind of roll off the side if you wish, do whatever you want. He's got an axe. He has got an axe. Mean game. Oh, we really need to hit him. Quick. He's cute. He's stamina. There we go. So that was pretty well for me there. I was pretty lucky all in all. Um, so heading up this way. We're going to have an amateur on the right side, so be careful. Deal with him. That's kind of why we came this way. Uh, try and do it the other way you can end up having to fight with both of these guys at the same time, which I'm not a fan of. So that kick is really useful. Keep on forgetting to use it as well. Um, let's see how we're back up here. Obviously, we're going to have to face this spear dude again. But it's worth it. Oh. I love it. It's so good. Right, there we go. Uh, we are going to face the yokai, even though I don't really think we need to. Let's get him dealt with. There we go. Just to grab this, just to show you that we're doing it. There we go. Now in the sec next area, you're probably going to want to split into separate runs. Um, I suppose I can do that myself actually just to kind of show it um, because there's quite a lot down here and quite a lot of it is pretty tough so you don't want to overextend yourself if you don't have to right, go behind there it's cool and it's fine me saying oh I'm not struggling but Of course, we've got Yokai here. We're not going to bother with the flames, even though he is an axe guy. These guys are dangerous. Cool, you. Oh, that's not good. Took away a chance to keep all this pollution over there. Right, let's get you down. Easier than I thought you'd be to slice it, though. Let's give you a medium range tap. There we go. Right, so where were we? So that's that bit. The cave came from over there. Right, so let's let's look at how you could take this um, in a bit of an easier method. Where is the ladder? Ladder, ladder, ladder. Oh. Okay, Just so I can show where we are properly. There's another Kadama down there, but we're going to collect that in a second. I'm just trying to put this into some bite-sized chunks so we don't have to overextend ourselves here. So it can give us a good... Wow, I did not expect him to do that. Ha! <laughs> that was really weird. Oh, we have to kick it down. Oh, I didn't realise. Okay. Okay, we have to kick that down. Never mind. In which case, I'm going to grab this Kodama over here. But I'm not going to grab it, I'm going to show where it is. Careful with this guy. Um, he will drop decent gear uh, if you farm him. But he runs off and he tries to get you into trouble basically, so let him run. Uh, Kadama's going to be here, so that's Kadama number 6. No, Kadama no, number 7. One more left for us to collect. So, yeah, he's just going to be a pain. It's like this game's version of the Crystal Lizards. Uh, so if they don't really drop the great stuff, we're going to deal with it when I was going here, though. Uh, when he does that jump thing, if you just step backwards, uh, he'll kind of land in front of you. Which I find is the best way to do it, really. Uh, and as you can see, he drops a ton of treasure. In fact, other than the crystal lizards, it's more like the, um, the little goblins you get in Diablo. So. Little travel amulet. Now bear in mind that I am keeping um, 
my Guardian Spirit charged because it's going to be useful for you in the boss fight. Careful about rushing into this area because you can see we've got the big Cyclops dude. Now they're not as bad as they look. Uh, when I first saw them I thought they were going to be really bad but uh, that is not the case. Their attacks are quite slow and not too bad to avoid. It's mainly they grab attack you want to make sure you avoid. As you can see, he's not so bad. That's pretty bad if you get caught by it. There's the grab attack for you. Now, if you do get caught by that uh, without good armor on, that's going to be extremely painful. There we go. Oh, never seen him do three before. I've only seen, ever seen him do those in twos. That was, that was different. Uh, the, punch, the punches are really easy to avoid. Uh, so long as you're ready for, so long as you're ready for the jump attacks and stuff, you'll be fine. And you'll be fine dodging those. Cool. Nice oh, demon horns. So that's this area sorted, uh, which kind of leaves basically the route to the boss and the last karma. So we want to deal with this guy here first on the right hand side. Don't let him, don't miss him. End up starting that fight over there, uh, and then you end up getting basically mobbed. That's not what you want here. So we're going to try and draw him out. Most of these are axe guys, so be careful. There we go. Managed to hit him good there. There we go. And we'll get through these like a bus, that's fine. No, you don't need to fight those straight away. In fact, there's barely any requirement to fight them all. What's well, just aggroed on me? Oh, it's just the uh, fireball mood. No real reason to take him out of range. We're going to be up there in a second anyway, but just out of convenience. Because um, when I first kind of went up against him, he did fall off the end. Which wasn't entirely great. Uh, we're going to... Whoa! I feel about you as well. You down. Oh. Nope. Okay, cool. So defeat him. I don't think there's another one. And behind here is going to be the final Kodama. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick recording check before we carry on. Cool. Uh, now, it's up to kind of how you deal with these guys. As I said, there's nothing over here. Um, so, no real reason to actually care about them. Might as well use this up. Well. Ouch. Yeah, it's all good. Let's see if we can get this big guy while we're at it. Oh, no. He's de aggroed already, look. <laughs> uh, again, you can medium range these guys. If you want to cheese them, you can. Get for that. Come on, Mr. Boy. Didn't realise I didn't like getting poked in the eye. That's kind of cool. Oh. So that's this one down. Um, I mean, I suppose we've got the item over here. That's the only re real reason to come down here. Um, no actual need to fight any of this before going into the boss fight, though. So over this way, we're going to have a third Cyclops, but this one won't respawn, which is... I think uh, a bit of good level design on the developer's part, because it means you can have essentially direct access to the boss fight. Obviously we just ran past the mouth of the cave there just to open this up, just so we can get in here. Arrow is definitely something that I need right now. On nine though, it's not too bad. Uh, so we can bring this guy in, oh, it's dummy there. Let's uh, take you nice and easy for now. Okay, really. Just going through the motions. Oh, went for the belly flop. Oh, no you don't. Should be able to finish him in the next combo. 
Oh, yep. Mr. Cyclops is down. Okay, so. Um, let's clear these bats. Well, I suppose there's no point in clearing the bats out, actually. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll grab. We'll grab the items from all these caves. It doesn't really matter if we get hit by the bats right now, because I'm going to go back to the shrine anyway, because I need to unlock the shortcut. Uh, just so I can show you guys the route to the boss fight. Uh, that may even end up being in a separate episode. I don't quite know how long I've been recording for. Right, what have we got here? So yeah, some of these rooms have items in, so do be careful. Funny how they've like filled these rooms with like bat poo. <laughs> right, look at that. There we go, so that room there is the boss fight, so unless you're ready to fight, um, don't go jumping straight into there. Um, we are going to... I'm pretty sure there's an item that allows us to go back to... Not Harakiri. Because that will drop everything. Don't want to do that. Where are we? We're going to equip those in a minute. Uh... Guardian Spirit to attack your enemies for a short period of time. That's excellent. I want to equip that for this fight. That's going to make this really easy. Um, where is it? There is one that's like... Any kind of sense. Is that it? No, that's back to the starting point, we don't want that. Okay, I'm going to have to cut back to the shrine then, guys. Um, so I'll see you there in a second. Okay then, so, uh, I'm pretty sure there is an item that is the equivalent to the home, but I'm going to take a look at that, uh, and I'll show you guys which one that is, just so you guys can do the same thing. Uh, in any case, before we go through into this boss fight, first up, I highly recommend making sure you put and a... Well, let's go into learn skills. Skill point into this. Uh, where is it? Phrysus Hemlock Broth. Uh, this is going to basically allow you to break free of paralysis three times. So this is going to be useful. You can see why when we go into this boss fight, because she is probably going to catch me with it. Uh, I wonder if she's actually the person in the video. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Not Hemlock Broth. It's the cure one. That's the one. The, the pill. That's the pill. That's the one we want there. Um, so we're going to equip that on. Obviously, we've, we've, I've already readied that at the actual um, at the shrine. So let's switch that for Fire Talisman, because it's not really going to be useful in this fight for us. So we're going to put the Chicken Gan pill on. This will be really, really useful. Uh, I've got all of my different types of bombs equipped, um, just because it's convenient ranged damage. Uh, and that is going to be something that's quite useful to us in the following fight. Um, but make sure you've got the ball and the Guardian Spirit on, because that is going to be really, really useful for you. Uh, with that done, we're ready for the fight, and I can show you the route. Uh, now, I didn't knock this down before, but there we go. I should have done this. I didn't realise we actually had to kick that down. So I apologise for that. Boom. Take this guy down. Uh, try not to drop off this one, because it will hurt you slightly. Albeit slightly, it's not really going to be so much that it kills you. Uh, and then all we can do, all we need to do, is literally just run past this way. These enemies aren't going to act well. Some of them will aggro, but because obviously the, the way that leashing works, they're not going to follow you. Uh, you haven't got to fight anything between the boss fight and here. And we're going to jump in for the boss fight. Now, hopefully, I can get this done first time, but it's very rare that I do. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Now, be careful of that attack. You have to get the dodge on that really, really well done. Um, oh, and that's the thing the paralyzes you. That's why you need that pillar. Uh, as I said, she caught me with it really, really quickly there. That's the move that I hate the most. Uh, you can block it, which is the most effective way to stop it from working. Um, but I kind of just wasn't quick enough there. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of just whittling her down at medium range. Now, don't be tempted to go in there uh, and attack her when she goes down like that. Take the free hits. Uh, because when she gets up, she'll, she'll for immediately perform a grab attack, uh, which sucks your life out of you and heals her. So all that free damage you think you've just got, you're going to lose. 
Oh, she got me again. I really hate that because you just can't get out of the way of that. No. I'm going to send the bull in. I'm going to see why it's so useful in a second. Oh, she's gone up in the air. Be careful of this. This is where she's at and most dangerous, really. Oh, she got me again. I could have stood to have kind of waited for that to wear off and just stand up in the air. There we go. That kind of knocks her, knocks her over, so again, you can get some more free damage. Which is why that's so useful. She's got me again with that. Knock you over. Let's take a heal here. Let's not get too cocky. Bother about the arrows. Just take that hit. I need to get out of there quick. That's the grab attack, as you can see. As I said, when she's down on the ground, she'll automatically do that straight away. Oh, she got me again. Well, I'm out of uh, anti paralysis now. This is why you need to be careful. I'm surprised that wasn't a grab. She usually doesn't like it when she's not managed to get a heal. where things get dangerous if she hits me with that. Stop that. Boom, there we go. He knew when left. Probably one of the one of the more challenging bosses. But uh, like I say, with the anti paralysis and the bull on, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Now if I had run out of the bull, I'd have probably switched over to all the fire bombs, but that was clearly not a requirement. So, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed seeing that. And that is this mission done. So, let's get out of here, see what kind of rewards we get. Okay, then, so back to the main mission area. Um, you're going to have a fair amount of side quests unlock for you. Essentially, you're going to get. Um, you'll have Reef in Flame, and you'll have the. Where is it? Yeah, so you're going to have the um, Finders Keeper submission, and you're going to have the Spirit Stone Slumbers. Now, I advise doing them in the order that I just said. So, we're going to go Reef in Flame first. I'm really tempted to do some multiplayer, but I might do that later on. Okay then, so we're back in the beginning area. Uh, obviously everything has been leveled up again, and you're probably going to notice as you go around that a lot of stuff is on fire. Um, who's that girl me? Oh, is it there, isn't he? Okay. Yeah, we'll sort him out in a second. Uh, can't remember what's over there now. There is something over here. Yeah, grab it. Damn, stop playing slot. Got this. There we go. Another one of those. Oh, let's get back onto. There we go. Such an effective guardian spirit. I love it. Interrupt from it is probably one of its biggest, uh, biggest adventures. Ouch! Come on, son, I get that. Right, grab all your goodies. Got a hand cannon, nice. Come on, says this little area sorted. Got some extra elixirs. That's good. And again. Right near the beginning, we've got a shrine. Let's sort this guy out. There we go. Cool, let's exit. Um, can't remember if there's anything in here. It's just an open chest, so it's not really going to be useful to you. Um, kind of strange, I saw it like different points in time. It's kind of, kind of cool that way. Reminds me of the whole um, time is distorted theme from Dark Souls. 
poly ingot, that's going to be useful later. I'm going to head over this way. Um, what's that growth? Oh, there he is. Eater. Cool, there we are. Now then. Careful with this guy. That's how you block it, aren't you, dude? Yeah. Go over this way. Can't, I don't think there's anything particularly useful for us over here. Now, as you can see, uh, we've got multiple targets to deal with as the uh, invert commas bosses here. Uh, and it's these guys, where are we? These guys that are kind of rolling around. Um, you actually get a target for dealing with these, so get, coming through and killing these several times over is going to do you some massive favours. Um, in terms of obviously getting. Getting the um oh, call it sorts. Wow, one shot, nice. Thanks for the free buff. Let's have that. Why not? We've got this chest. No reason not to. What am I gonna do with these guys? Now they're not as difficult as I thought they were gonna be. I thought these guys were gonna be as bad as bone skeletons, but you hit them in the side of the face and they just kind of fizzle out. If you get back again. Spectacularly, but yeah, they're so easy to knock over that uh, there's no real reason to care about them. And as you can see, people coming in here are like level 30 dying still. So don't be worried if that happens to you. Um, where are we? Let's put this. Let's put this. All in the name of more stuff. Alright, cool. I'm a bit of a nervous thing about recording right now, so we're going to have a quick recording check. I do apologise if I do this too often for you guys, but uh, I'd rather make sure that I'm not missing too much, if I can help it. I really do need to start fighting more revenants for you guys, though. I may start doing it soon. Um, so we've got to go up this ladder. Now, we're going to have another yokai up here. Um, where is he? No, he's not. I thought we did. How did go up? Get it. There we go. See ya! And all the while, healing me slowly. I love it. Let's get on here. Let's get this guy. Oh. Oh, we got another. Cool. Not really taking me anywhere I couldn't have gotten to before, though. But I've moved over that way. I ain't gonna try dashing over that, that'd be silly. And obviously we can obviously go all the way around, deal with the archer guy, go and grab that if you wish to. Um obviously the route being just over there where the yokai is. I suppose I probably should go do this because it means it's a walkthrough. Ha, <laughs> put him on the floor, that's funny. No you don't. <laughs> Big axe dude, I hate axe dudes. Oh you can do that, cool. Close to me. They are affected by the fire though, so if you can't get them in the fire, that will kill them. Uh, now we're on the side of the fire. Obviously, we're not that level up there earlier. We're going to go over here. We have been aggroed on. This guy wants some. So we can have it. Nothing down there. Some extra arrows for me though, that's good. Dash off onto here. Across the bridge. Got this Homoraki branch, that's pretty good to have got, and that's what allows us to get out of the mission with everything intact. Extra arrows that I don't need. I need normal arrows. Right, so now we can look for. Where was it? Can't go that way. Oh, okay, so we're going to have to go across the uh, across the buildings to get out of this area. Okay. So we go this way. Oh, there's a nightmare on there. Don't think I remember noticing that before. Let's grab that. Shinobi box. 
but I can't carry. Cool. Don't get dropping down there. A few things I don't remember. Right, cool. Kind of shows us the way we need to go, though. So we're going to go up this ladder. Obviously, we're going to turn left at the top of here. We're going to have another wheel do to deal with. Got all this. Where is he? Friend, knock him over. Whoa. Let's give it to you, shall we? He set me on fire, though. Oh, I went in the fire. Ha! My bad, we have to run back there, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna make you guys watch. Uh, I'll cut back to that scene. Okay, then. So, I know I said I was gonna cut back to that scene. But uh, then on the way up here, I realised we actually have a shortcut back there. And I just wanted to show it instead of people not realising. Trying to follow what I did. Um, and then dying more times than they need to. Um, I don't remember that being there before. But, you know. I'm able to miss things. It happens. Let's get this fire. I mean, look back on my fire room. Where is it? It's going to be the pot, isn't it? I've totally gone the wrong way there. I'm probably about to get aggroed on too. Nope, we're fine. What's this going to do with this guy? Probably should be a lot more cautious than I'm being because I've got quite a bit of stuff on the line down there. Bit of Amrita. But um, it's not like I'm desperate for it, so I don't really mind. Ooh. Come on. Let's get him now. There we go. So, of course, we're going to go across this way. This will probably will actually make this encounter a lot easier. Let's take this guy down. Uh, no, he can, you can actually get him. In fact, that was hard to beat him last time. I'm going to aggro him. Here he comes. Ooh. There we go. So he'll come all the way around. Their pathing's actually pretty good. Um, he's obviously able to go through there without it doing too much damage to him. But uh, he struggles with getting across this bridge, which is how you can cheese this one. Oh, that fire. Oh, let's get in there. Let's get you down, shall we? Oh. <laughs> I'm probably quite lucky that that was not on fire on the floor there. But we're fine. So that's two down. Only one more of these wheels left to go. That is the end. We obviously need to pick this up. No, don't fight Revenant. There we go. So there's not as much as I thought there. Oh, let's drop those fire on it, thank you. Okay, get armor I don't need. Oh, forgot about you. Let's get him down. Nothing left for you, boy. Just been aggroed on again. We've got a dude on the left. Not too bad though. Probably shouldn't really go running past all this, so I'm about to get trapped in here, aren't I? It's not really pleasant. So I'm like he ain't gonna last long. Let's get that back down. Sacred War. Pretty cool if you haven't got the Keke uh, ability as a mage. Ow. And then the other one's rolling around down here, isn't he? Oop. What are you doing? Oh, it got me. I thought I was to the side of you there. Hey! That'll be enough for me. There cool. Head over this way. Oh, there it fell down the, uh, the ambush. Been through here so many times and it still gets me. Dude here. Now, if we can not get hit by you, that would be great. Because you heal me when I attack you. Come on then, let's go. There we are. 
antidote. That's cool. Let's put this. I love the ominous. That's happening. So we've got a yokai here. And then we got the wheel dude. I got this guy here as well. Oh, we've got another yokai there. Wow, there's loads. Can't get across there from here, can I? Okay. Just be aware that obviously once we defeat the wheel, that is the end of the level. And for best results, the rest of the shrine here, which I forgot was here. Fair enough. Cool, so let's do that. I'm going to have a recording check while we're here. And then we can carry on. Just bear in mind that the Yokai are going to regenerate after each of these. Oh wow, I didn't realize I could do that. Aha, I can use the uh, the trigger for a quick camera reset. Right. He's going to chase us, which is good. He's only got a sword, which makes me happy. Yeah. Combining this isn't so bad with you. Get out. Da 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 da. Nice one. Let's just grab this. Let's sort this guy out. Ooh. Oh, nearly there. It's finished. And that is going to be the end of the mission.